actually the very last video that we are shooting here at IDF 2014 in San Francisco. Finally made it to the show for the last 10 minutes because they're going to close it down at 2 p.m. But I almost forgot to show you the Edison showcase. Edison is a small, tiny, little SD card computer, PCB, all on one chip, mainboard, whatever. Super small, very interesting. You just think about a Raspberry Pi, a little bit more powerful uh, on the size of a small, little SD card. And um, they're going to showcase over here at this Edison pavilion or booth what you can actually do with it. So uh, what you can see, just, it just follow me. and Let's do a little bit of a walkthrough of this show. Uh, what you can see over here, so they have some demos here, how they're using it together uh, with a drone. Let's just, let's just move around here. Look at this one here. on the uh, camera. So the, is the video stored on the uh, device? Oh yeah, I mean, you can use it so, so, so this is obviously something about how you're gonna track stuff, right? So we can use um, the Edison chip in there, or the Edison platform in there, um, to run some tracking and location services. Over here, we have a little bit of a robot. Look at this, it's a kind of rover. Looks a little bit like the Mars rover. Not sure if they really want to shoot this to Mars. Look at this one here. So little robots, and they're using again um, Edison to do navigation with it. So this is a farmland robot and a smart bike helmet. I want to see this helmet over here. Let's let, let, let's head, let's head over to this side. Look at this one here. Can you see that? Is this your smart bike helmet? Yes. Cool, what, what can it do? So the smart bike helmet has a lot of sensors on board and the idea is that we can detect when somebody's gotten into a crash. And uh, when we detect a crash, we give the rider an opportunity to say that they're all right or okay. say that they're not all right. Um, if they say they're not all right or if they don't respond at all, they might be unconscious, then it's <laughs> gonna start up a phone call automatically to your emergency contact and it's going to send them a text with uh, your location. So. I love it when Edison developers are using cool smartphones. She also has a one plus one over oh, here. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. So, so, so this is of course a, a kind of prototype right now, right? Right, yes. So you're in this uh, Edison developer program? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, I was sort of a mentor during this program for a group of interns from Oregon State University. So I work at Intel. And they came and joined us over the summer to do the Edison trial. And they did pretty much all the technical work. Um, and a lot of them learned these skills from, from scratch. The, the student who designed our PCB, he had never done that before. Okay. And so over those few months, he you know, practiced and got really good at it. So all sorts of exciting stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So this is a smart bike helmet based on Edison. Pretty cool. Thank you so much. Let's walk around here. And let's see what we have. Um, so. Talking about smart helmets, we have the smart bike helmet over here. We have a Edison smart construction helmet. Once again, you know what? It can do a fall detection. It can do strike detection. It can detect gas. Can do push notifications. Has a web interface, a UI, and can do geolocation. You know, all based on the small little Edison platform. It's really interesting how I mean these connected devices, smart devices in general are really getting into our everyday life, not only for workers, construction workers, but also we have you know, guys using for the bicycle. Can I, can I just ask you a quick question, Mario? Yeah. I, just, I just saw it over here. Tell us a little bit about your smart construction helmet. Yeah, well, the idea is to create a, a device, a, a wearable that can be useful for safety in order to detect more, most of the common accidents in the construction and can tell to the safety manager where is happening something. And also the construction managers can know where are uh, safety places and which are not safety places in order to improve. Yeah. So the idea is uh, change that idea of wearables just for fashion or just for uh, watches or t-shirts and let the, the world know that they can stand uh, wearables for security, for safety. So, so that's uh, right now the idea and also demonstrate how Edison can be useful for that. Right, so, so, so you're using it together with some sensors to have some detections for, like I said, a fall detection, strike detection, even gas detec detection. What about this web interface? Do, do you have an additional kind of little display in there? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the Edison has already a Wi-Fi modem, 
and is sending a message to, to this dashboard. Okay. So, so uh, well, right now we have that our first prototype, and this is the second prototype where you have all the sensors in here. So look at how small this is. So this is a, the, Edison, the Edison module here. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing how small this is. Right, so this is the, this is the, um, the newest prototype that you're using for this. Yeah, yeah, that's the newest prototype, and this is our, our case. Uh, we already fit uh, the battery here and all the system completely mm -hmm. in here, so you can put this uh, in the hardware or whenever you want. Very cool, and then it's connecting to an additional device. We'll think about you know what they had of the whole construction workers. Um, at a construction place, um, he can constantly locate them and monitor them, and he knows, of course, if anything went wrong. Look at this, look at this. Oh, we can do a test with uh, the gas, and we should get uh, the notification okay. here. So now we're doing a gas test? Yeah, yeah. Oh, see that? So we're getting a notification right now. Uh, we would get a notification if there's any gas detection going on. Look at this here. So he just figured out that there's something with smoke going on just by using um, the gas out of this lighter. Yeah, Thank you. And clicking here, you can know uh, where, where the event happened. Oh, and over here, we got the location. It works, pretty cool. Thank you so much, Mario. Let, let's head over here and let's see what else we have before they're kicking us out here. Edison in space, an Edison-powered balloon launched to 100,000 feet. Look at look at this video over here, right? And and look at the, le uh, the the geolocation that they're recording here. That is pretty amazing. I I guess it's coming it's coming back down now. Oh, it's just uh, kind of kind of facing some thunderstorms up there. I know. Is this already the stratosphere? I'm not so sure about this. But over here, what you can see is they're using a GoPro for this, right? And we here's this little balloon. We were lucky and of course, they're getting a lot of data with all the sensors that they're connecting to the Edison motherboard. Oh, we hear another, ladies and gentlemen. So let's, let's move over to the, next, to the next place. Let's see what else do we have over here. How by curiosity. OK. Rip tag. So what else? Are we? Look, look, look at, and here are all these, all these little prototypes and demo boards all over the place. Let's let let's get over here. Let's see. Here's some additional crazy little devices. What is this? Hold button. Let me try it. I'm not sure what this is going to do with me. Oh. Maybe I need just. Maybe it's like kind of a little bit of a of a test of my reaction. What, what, what is what is actually going on over here with this one? Uh, that's the Edison reaction timer. I almost got it, yeah. and I was just so bad in this. Let me let, let me try it again. Round three ready. So do I need to press both buttons? No, nope. you hold. Uh, with, if it's in round three, it's got to finish all the way through round five. Okay. Uh, let's see who thinks it's. Let's see who is actually playing right now. Somebody hit it if it starts. Let's well, both hold buttons, okay? Now when it turns blue, we're gonna let go. Ready? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, so, so you're playing it with two persons, yeah. right? The and then you're just releasing it, and who is going to be fired? Let's, let, let's try it again. Yeah. This is for... Woohoo! Okay. I mean, you've had a hard day at the show floor already. <laughs> let's, let, let's try one more time. Go. That was three in a row. No so, in a row. So, I, so I basically won this notebook over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers, man. Thank you so much. Let's take a quick look around here. What else do we have here? Some kind of variables. Oh, here are the drones again. Oh, you know what? Can, look at this. This drone is basically following him. So this is a little bit like a tracker or something. Kind of reminds me of this ghost drone. So wherever he's going, the drone is locating him, following him, and taking some videos. So you're basically tracking that guy with the, with the Edison? 
Yes, we are tracking the guy with the Edson. In fact, we are using his phone, GPS, for a course location and then using the Edson to narrow down that with computer vision. Like I have here on this quick demo, oh, he is wearing a head shirt, but it's tracking him. Okay. So, oh, yeah. there we go. you can see that the camera, yeah, the camera will move to track the pedal. Okay. So we can find out where the user is and track down his location and get good video. Which is pretty cool, right? If you want to really take the ultimate selfies of yourself, the ultimate selfie videos, oh. right? And that is just we have something that we call the droning. Okay. Where it's, the it's droning. Droning. Okay. <laughs> so the copter just keeps flying and taking a selfie of yourself. And that you can do that fully autonomous. So there is no need to have someone to control the copter. Yeah. That is, that is pretty cool, especially if you want to do some action uh, filming, right? You're on a mountain bike or you're surfing or whatever. Yes, and we can do that without any other operator. You can do it by yourself, which is something that you couldn't do before. That is pretty cool. Just another idea of what you can do uh, with the Edison platform. I think that's a pretty good timing because they're going to kick us out in about two minutes over here. That was just a brief idea of what you can see over here at IDF. All the development uh, that is based on the Edison platform, such as for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.